Hello everybody. In this video, you will see how we can uh, put background music on a video. So that video uh, already includes a music on that or sound on that, but you're gonna add this additional background music on your video using Python script. So the first step to do is I'm gonna from Google Collab import drive. I'm going to uh, mount my Google Drive to read the video and read the music. Then I can say drive mount content G drive. Then I can define a directory, which this directory would be content Python background music. So let's uh, see the video first. That video is my previous video in my channel. In this video, you will see how to... So you see that this is a video that includes my voice. So I'm going to add the background music, this music for this video. Something that we should pay attention is the duration of the video is almost seven and a half minutes, but the music is just uh, two minutes. So let's see how it works. First, we run the first section. Connect to Google Drive. Then we wait until it runs successfully. Okay, so mounted on, on Google Drive. Then the next part is uh, using the important uh, MoviePy module. So import MoviePy dot editor as MPE also just to make sure that we are importing everything I can write from MoviePy import everything. So this line imports everything from MoviePy module. Then I can define my clip or my video <clears throat> from MPE video file clip. Then inside video file clip, you can define the directory of your file. So the name of file is imsave dot mp4. Then the next part is you can define the audio background. So audio background mpe dot audio file clip. So inside audio file clip, you specify the directory and the name of the music. That's mp3 file. Then something important that we need to do is, as I mentioned, the duration of the mp3 is shorter than the duration of the video. So we need to apply function loop for the audio to repeat that mp3 file. So I'm gonna define a new variable, audio background looped. Then I'm using a function, afx loop. afx audio loop. It 
should be O. So AFX audio loop, then we can say that the file, the first input is that audio background and also the duration. So I can specify the duration of the file, the duration of this loop file as my clip uh, duration. My clip dot duration. So it's gonna repeat your MP3 music until the end of your video. Then the next part is we, we are going to define final audio because we have two audio. One audio is included in the video, that was my voice. And the secondary audio is that audio background loop. So I can use a composite audio clip, MPE, composite audio clip. And inside composite audio clip, I can define two uh, audios. First is my clip dot audio and the second audio is audio background loop. So however, one important step here is uh, you may want to change the volume, volume of the secondary audio because you may want to hear the voice stronger than the background music. So here we can change the volume of the background by using FX, then for the FX function, we can define AFX. So AFX is for audio video FX. And for AFX, we can work with the volume, volume X, then the parameter for AFX volume X is whatever you want. I specify 0.1. It means that you're gonna uh, decrease the volume of the background music with the factor of 0.1. Then another thing that we should specify here is these two audios should be inside the bracket. Then we are ready to put that fi final audio into your clip. To do this, you can say that final clip would be my clip set audio and which audio this final audio. So let's run it and see if everything works fine. So AFX is not defined. Uh, so we should So here we should from movie.editor. Let's run it one more time. Yes. So right now we have a final clip that includes my voice and also background music with reduced volume. But we want to save this final clip. In order to save your final clip, you can't say final clip and then using a function write video file write video file and here you can specify the directory which i'm gonna say output.mp4 so let's double check if everything is fine let's run it now you see that writing audio in the this file 
this step is going to be a little bit fast, but the next step, which is uh, writing a file into your desk, is going to take time, this part. So you see that it's a little bit slow, but depends on your video duration. So I'm going to pause this video for now. And when this step is done, I will be back. OK, so it took about four to five minutes to finish this part. 98 percent, 99, and there we go. So I'm going to wait a few more seconds until that output MP4 is located in my Google Drive. Then we are going to see. Let's just wait. Okay. Hi guys. In this video, you will see how to read and. Now you see that that's the original video with my voice, and you can hear the background music as well. Image from uh, the. So in the code, you can change this factor. Uh, maybe you want to hear the background music louder. Then you can you need to in increase this factor as well. So you see that Python script with this module is very convenient. It's much more uh, convenient than using these free online websites with video editor with they ask you to create an account and they give you a free trial period. So I find Python script much more convenient and very interesting. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and support this channel. Uh, have a great time.